Today's topic is on application to difference equations. And in this video, we are going to solve the difference equations using Z transforms. And this topic is from Z transforms and we are going to solve the problem that is y of n plus 2 plus 3 times of y of n plus 1 plus 2 times of y of n is equal to 0 and the given conditions are y0 is equal to 0 and y1 is equal to 1. So in order to solve this problem, so we need certain conditions that is, so we have to suppose let Z transform of y of n is equal to capital Y of Z and next Z transform of y of n plus 1 is equal to Z times of y of Z minus this is y naught. And next one Z transform of y of n plus 2 is equal to this is Z square times of this is y of Z minus y naught minus y1 by Z. So we have to substitute all these conditions in the given equation. So from the question, the given equation is, see here, this is y of n plus 2 plus 3 times of y of n plus 1 plus this is 2 times of yn is equal to 0, is equal to 0. Now, apply z transforms on both sides. See here, we have to apply z transforms on both sides. Then what happens? So here this will be Z transforms of Z transforms of Y of N plus 2 plus 3 times of Z transform of Y of N plus 1 plus 2 times of Z transform of this is Y of N and whereas Z transform of 0 is 0. And next we have Z transform of Y of N plus 2 is nothing but C here. I am substituting here. This will be, so if I substitute, this will be z square times of. So this is z square times of y of z minus y naught minus y1 by z. Clear? Then 3 times of z transform of y of n plus 1 is nothing but this is z times of, this is y of z minus y naught plus this is 2 times of Z transform of Y of N is nothing but capital Y of Z is equal to 0. And see, what are the conditions given? The conditions are Y0 is equal to 0 and Y1 is equal to 1. So, Y0 as 0 and Y1 as 1. Now, we have to substitute in place of Y0 as 0 and in place of Y1 as 1. Here, Y0. So, in place of Y0 and Y1, I am substituting the values and after substituting the values, see what remains here, Z transform of, this is Y of Z, Y naught is 0 and Y1 is 1. So, 1 by Z plus 3 into Z times of, this is Y of Z and this is 2 times of, this is Y of Z is equal to 0. Now, if I multiply, so what happens? So, this is Z square. So, z square times of y of z minus z square by z plus this is 3z into y of z plus 2 times of this is y of z is equal to 0. So, if I cancel 1z and see and if I take y of z common, so if I, if I take y of z common, what remains? So, here this will be z square plus 3z plus 2 into y of z into y of z this is minus z is equal to 0 and see this will be y of z is equal to this is minus z if it goes other side this will be plus z and this is multiplying and it will divide if it goes other side so we have to split so this can be written as according to this one z square so this is z square so the factors will be so, 3 can be written as 2 into 1. That is 2z plus uh, z plus 2. So, this will be, if I take z common, this will be z plus 2. And this is again z plus 2. So, if I take z plus 2 common, so this will be z plus 2. If I take common, this will be z plus 1. So, in place of this, I am going to write. 
this is y of z is equal to so y of z is equal to this is z by this is z plus 1 into z plus 2 so this can be written as z plus 1 into this is z plus 2 i am sending this z to other side so here what happens y of z by z y of z by z is equal to this is 1 by z plus 1 into this is z plus 2 so here y of z by z can be written as a by this is z plus 1 plus this is b by this is z plus 2. So we have to resolve into partial fractions and we need the values of a as well as b. So if I compare with this that is 1 by z plus 1 into z plus 2 is equal to here if I take LCM as z plus 1 into this is z plus 2. See here a times of z plus 2 plus this is b times of this is z plus 1. So if I cancel this same numerate denominators then the numerator will be 1 times of a into this is z plus 2 plus this is b into this is z plus 1. Now I will keep in order to get the value of uh, a I need to make b 0. So put z is equal to minus 1. So if I keep z is equal to minus 1 this will be 0 and 1 is equal to a times of a times of minus 1 plus 2. 1 is equal to a into 1. So I got the value of a as 1. So after getting a as 1 and now I am substituting z value as minus 2. Put z is equal to minus 2. So this is minus 2. So if I keep z is equal to minus 2 this will become 0 and 1 is equal to this is b times of minus 2 plus 1. So 1 is equal to b times of minus 1 and b value is equal to minus 1. So I got the value of b as again minus 1. Now I will substitute the value of a as 1 and b as minus 1. Therefore, y of z by z. So, y of z by z is equal to this is a by z plus 1 and next plus b by this is z plus 2. Now, if I substitute a as 1 and b as minus 1, see what happens. y of z by z is equal to 1 by z plus 1 minus 1 by z plus 2. If I send this z to the numerator, then y of z value is equal to z by this is z plus 1 minus z by this is z plus 2. Now apply, see here, apply z inverse on both sides. Apply z inverse on both sides. So if I apply z inverse on both sides, see what happens. This is y of z is equal to, this is z by z plus 1 minus, this is z by z plus 2. So if I apply this one z inverse on both sides so this will become z inverse of y of z and this is z inverse of uh, z by z plus 1 and this is z inverse of z by z plus 2 and see we have a special function here according to the formula that is z inverse of z by z minus a can be written as a power n so we need minus a here so there is plus 1 here that is plus a so i am writing this as in terms of z inverse of z i am writing z minus so in order to balance this one i am writing minus 1 and this is z inverse of z by z minus of this is minus 2 so in place of a we have here minus 1 and in place of a we have minus 2 and this can be a power n. So this is minus 1 power n. Therefore, z inverse of y of z value is equal to minus 1 power n minus of this is minus 2 power n. Finally, the answer is minus 1 power n minus of minus 2 power n. So this is how we have to solve and uh, simply they are, these are the conditions which you have to substitute after applying z transforms on both sides and we have to substitute the conditions as y0 is equal to 0 and y1 is equal to 1 and after sending this z to the other side and this z square plus 3z plus 2 to the other side and we have to 
resolve into partial fractions and we need the values of a and b if you put z is equal to minus 1 i got a as 1 and if you put z is equal to minus 2 i got b as minus 1 and after substituting a as 1 and b as minus 1 and applying z inverse on both sides and using this formula we got the final answer as minus 1 power n minus of minus 2 power n so this is how we have to solve this is also so simple and there are only two more videos left in this uh, z transforms please go through the playlist and definitely it will be very helpful for your preparation and if you really like please pass it on to your friends and, su and support this channel thank you so much for watching